Hiya, I'm Glenda Farrell, and this is Trailers from Hell. In 1928, Ben Hecht and Charles MacArthur's play The Front Page took Broadway by storm, especially the performance of Lee Tracy as Ace News Hound Hildy Johnson. Sadly, he didn't get to recreate that role in the film version, but he spent much of his movie career replicating it in a series of pictures that showcased him as the fastest talking wise ass on the planet. Even more sadly, that career was derailed early on when he got drunk one night on location for Viva Via, and he did do a bunch of Mexican soldiers what Russian hookers do to mattresses. Provoked an international incident. He was fired and thereafter demoted to mostly B pictures, where he nevertheless continued to shine. But he never shone brighter than in his masterpiece, playing a very thinly disguised Walter Winchell in one of the greatest of all pre-code Warner Brothers films, titled after a term the real Winchell supposedly coined. On with the dance! Okay, Chicago! All the stars above fall in love with its springtime loveliness. And yes, those are the pear-shaped tones of Dick Powell, making his movie debut here as, what else, a crooner. But not the sappy kind he went on to play in the Busby Berkeley epics. He's the main nemesis of Alvin Roberts, the notorious gossip columnist played by Lee Tracy in all his wisecracking, arm-flapping glory. And with so much wit and charisma, you scarcely notice what a rat bastard he is. How can you say no when all the world is saying yes? And for once, they were right. Audiences did love him. Now here's Tracy threatening mobster Edwin Maxwell, one of the many splendid character actors who fill up the cast. There's also Ned Sparks, Alan Jenkins, Frank McHugh, Emma Dunn, Jack LaRue, George Chandler, Tom Dugan, the ubiquitous Charles Lane, and that's his lovely co-star, Mary Bryan. And that's Ruth Donald Lee as his sardonic secretary. And there's Isabel Jewell in her breakout role as a woman who makes the mistake of trusting him. Sadly, she doesn't get billing. Directed by the incomparable Roy Del Ruth, the film is oddly structured. The first half is raucous comedy in the best Warner style, including the famous scene of Tracy graphically telling Jenkins what it's like to get the chair. Then it switches to drama and musical numbers, returning the comedy in the last reel to tie things up neatly. Interestingly, the version now available on DVD is missing a funny scene involving Mr. Moskowitz, but it survives in the Library of Congress print and some 16s, and will hopefully be restored one day. But even without it, Blessed Event is one of the most fun movies you can imagine, one you can watch over and over again with no loss of enjoyment, as we all learned at the 1984 Cinecon, where it ran as an unknown item and totally blew the roof off the dump. Now, if you'll excuse me, I gotta go out and get a pair of Shapiro shoes, because if they're good enough for Dick Powell, they're good enough for me.